Hello girls, good day. How are you all? Hope you are all fine. This morning we want to look at partial variation. Partial variation. In our previous class, we have done direct variation, inverse variation, and joint variation. Now we want to look at partial variation. Now, the simple explanation of partial variation is this. Please listen attentively and understand the idea of partial variation. You see, when a tailor makes a dress, the total cost of making that dress depends on two things. First, the cost of the cloth. Is that not true? The cost of the cloth. Secondly, the amount of time it takes to make the dress. The cost of the cloth is constant, but the amount of time taken to make the dress can vary. Of course, a simple dress will take a short time to make, while a dress with difficult style or pattern will take a longer time to make. You can see now that the time of making, the time taken to make the dress varies. Now, this is a simple example of partial variation. The cost is partly constant and partly varies with the amount of time taken. Now, in algebraic form, we write it as C is equal to A plus B T. C is equal to A plus B T. This is the algebraic form of a partial variation. C is equal to A plus B T, where C is the cost, T is the time, then A and B are constants. Take notes. A and B are constants, while C is the cost of making the clothes. T time varies. You can see that's why here T partly varies. T here the time partly varies. Now let's take an example on partial variation. Let's take one example on partial variation. Look at this question. Question one. Look at a question here R is R is partly constant R is partly constant and partly varies with E capital letter E partly constant and partly varies with E when R is equal to 530 comma E is equal to 1600 and when R and when R is equal to 730 E is equal to 3600 now questions A the first question says that we should find a formula that connects R and E. Find the formula connecting R and E. This is the first question. Then the second question is find is to find R when E is equal to one thousand three hundred. This is the second part of the question. Now, how do we solve this question on partial variation? Let's solve the question. You see, the solution R is partly constant and partly varies. You need to interpret the statement. R is equal to 
is partly constant that is a plus b e r is partly constant and partly varies with e that is why it is r is equal to a partly constant and partly varies with e equation one now the information here are you have to introduce the information here that is when r is 530 it implies that 530 for r is equal to a plus what is the value of e 1600 so we have you have to replace e now and put 1600 b call this one equation 2 then it goes again to say that when r is 730 730 then we have a plus what is our e 3600 so we have 3600 b let's call this one equation three now we have simultaneous equations to solve for a and b which are the constants a and b in both equation two and three now we eliminate a first by subtracting equation three from equation two if you subtract this from this you have minus you have minus 200 is equal to a minus a is gone is equal to minus minus 2000 b you subtract this from this you have minus 2000 b now in dividing both sides by minus 2000 minus 2000 it implies that b is equal to b is equal to 1 over 10 b is equal to 1 over 10 you can see after solving for b now you put in equation 2 to get the value of a which implies that 530 is equal to a plus 1600 b remember your b now is 1 over 10 then it implies that 530 is equal to a plus is equal to a plus 1600 canceling this you have 1000 is one okay it's equal to 160 rather you have 160 so a here a is equal to 530 minus 460 if you collect like terms we have that a is equal to cell 370 370 that is the value of uh, a then remember the value of b and this is the value of a in solving question a that is the first part of the question now that we have to write or find the equation connecting r and e implies that r is equal to what is our a 370 you write remove a here and put 170 as a constant now plus what is our b our b you go back you pick 1 over 10 e and that is the equation connecting r and e as first part of the question then the second part says you are to find the value of r when e is 1300 r when e is equal to 1300 it's simple you go back and rewrite it in your equation so we have that r is equal to 370 370 plus 1 over 10 open bracket our e is now 1300 close the bracket therefore r is equal to because of the space now r is equal to 500 this is how to solve questions on partial variation you are going to be given assignment on the google classroom on partial variation you solve it and return as you be graded thank you god bless you